Warning. The actions in this video are performed by highly skilled handlers and animals conditioned for safe interactions. It is against the law to feed, harass, or interact with wild alligators and crocodiles. As such, any unlawful interactions with wild alligators or zoological animals without professional supervision will likely end in serious injury or death. Interland strongly discourages anyone from attempting to imitate the actions of our trained employees. Y'all don't try this, you hear? Savannah, and it's time for the next vlog, and I'm here with Danny Danger oh. and Pete. Do you guys remember Pete? Pete takes care of all the sick animals at Gatorland and all the animals that are in trouble behind the scenes. That's why you never see Pete. After months and months and almost a year of trying to convince Pete to do another trap draw video, we did it today! Here, finally. <laughs> so tell us some of what's been going on with trap draw. Oh, well, let's see. Trap Joe has been doing really well. He's a lot bigger now. Uh, he comes out of his enclosure more. Uh, he goes up and down the pen. He chases me. So he's doing, he's doing really good. Does he's he feel like well. his head scratches? Yes, he loves his head scratches. <laughs> he loves it all. It's like I'm his own masseuse right now. Now, if you guys so. saw the first Trap Jaw video, it almost hit a million views. So people love Trap Jaw regardless of what he looks like, which means we live in an amazing world where people love animals despite their disabilities. But I don't really think it's a disability for Trap Jaw, do you? No, not at all. Cause he bit you, right? He did, <laughs> it was a love, but it was a love bite. All right? It was the first love bite, he only gives me those. <laughs> all right, let's go see Trap Jaw. Come on, come on, Trap Jaw's here, Trap Jaw's here. All right, Trap, let's go. Come on, trap, trap. <laughs> that will pop. Come on, I know. I know. Look at you, the boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Trap jaw. Here you go. Hey. Right here, relax. I know. How are you, kid? So tell everybody what happened to Trap Jaw. For those of you who don't remember, there is another Trap Jaw video. If you guys want to check out Trap Jaw's first video with Pete. And it did really, really well. Trap Jaw's a pretty amazing alligator. There we go. Over here. I know. What happened to Trap Jaw, Pete? Well, Trap Jaw got in a fight a few years ago. Oh. Alligators in the wild get in fights with each other, grab hold of each other, and sometimes they rip loose pieces of each other. It's not pretty, as you can see, but he eats fine. He eats really well here. I've seen him before where he'll literally use his bottom jaw like a spatula, and he'll just shovel up the meat, whatever he's eating. He's so used to me feeding him though that he's got it made because he just comes right out to me and opens his mouth as wide as possible. I just throw it in. Come here, there you go. Now has Trap Jaw ever tried to bite you? Yeah, I think I have a mark on my arm to prove that. <laughs> so it's happened. He pinched me and part right there toward the back. He pinched me. You can see there's no teeth, thank God, back there. But he still gave me that jaw. Is still, when he's got it's really, really powerful. And he definitely gave me quite a pinch. Well, the last time we tried to bring him out, he knocked me down. Like swung the sweep yeah. the leg, knocked me yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Trap Jaw, he'll just go on a rampage. He just wants to do whatever it is he wants to do. <laughs> so you always gotta keep your eye on him. He'll sweep a leg. <laughs> All the other alligators in his enclosure know that he's the top dog here. Yeah, he is so, the boss. He's doing really, really good. He's one of my favorites, if not my favorite here. He makes those little bulldog noises. I know. He's not passing gas is what you're hearing. It's definitely not that. He doesn't really fight with anybody. People love Trap Jaw. He's getting bigger and bigger. What are you doing, all right? So lucky for Trap Jaw, he lives at a place like Gatorland, so we can take care of all of his needs, and he can grow up healthy and happy. By the time you guys see Trap Jaw again, he's gonna be even bigger. Oh my gosh. And if you come to Gatorland and you wanna see Trap Jaw, you really can't, because Trap Jaw's not on display. Uh, but he is back here with Pete, so you can always like, you know, try to find Pete in the park and you can ask Pete questions about Trap Jaw. We don't put Pete on display either. Yeah, no, 
It takes a lot of people in front of the house and behind the scenes here at Gatorland to make it work so magically. So if people have questions about Trap Jaw or they want to know more about Trap Jaw, what should they do, Pete? Ask me. <laughs> write us letters. Yeah, write us letters. Write if us you have... letters, Trap Jaw and all. We, we read them all. And give Trap Jaw a bunch of love in the yeah. comments because Trap Jaw is an amazing alligator. And just a testament to how resilient alligators are in general. So I'm glad that everybody wanted to see Trap Jaw again. That's really cool. It means a lot to us. Uh, remember those kids sent you money so you could buy Trap Jaw a steak? Remember when we yes, did that? Yes, I remember that. Was that people from Buffalo? YouTube. Yeah, people from, from Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. Yeah, yep. from Buffalo. All right, guys. Well, I hope you like this vlog, and I hope you learned a little something along the way. Oh, Trap Jaw! If you love Trap Jaw, do us a favor, check that like button, smash notifications on, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to too, we gotta go catch Trap Jaw now. <laughs>